Hello, hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you? Good. And you, teacher? I am very happy to be here with you. <laughs> Yeah, it, it is a, a different Friday for me. Every time that I have the chance to teach, it's a different, it's a different day. Yeah. Well, that's perfect. Thank you very much for being on time. I am very happy for that. And for sure, today we are going to do some different activities from the ones that we do in the normal classes. Yeah. And uh, I hope that you would like Okay, so, hey, nice background, Rosario. Yes. I really like it. It looks pretty awesome. Okay, so I am going to wait for all the other ones to connect, and we are going to start with the class today. Let's see. Okay, so how was your day, my dear students? Tell me. For me, teacher, today is a uh, productive growth in my work. It was a productive day yeah. at work. What did you do? Yeah. Uh, what? In advance. Uh, I'm sorry. Repeat. What did you do? ¿Qué hiciste? ¿Qué hiciste en tu día para que fuera productivo? Yeah. Avance what did in you do the... the day to make... I, I don't know what happened. Someone uh, was interpreting me. <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher. Yeah. No worries. Uh, and advance uh, the document um, and, and uh, contact uh, teachers, teacher for different class in, in the ONG. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That is so nice. What type of teachers are the ones that you hire? Repeat. What type of teachers are the ones that you hire? No entiendo toda la oración, teacher. What type of teachers, qué tipo de maestros, are the ones that you hire? Son los que tú contratas. Yeah, is is for for different um, I have to say uh, for example, um, como eh, adaptarse en otra cultura. Oh, okay. Eh, yeah, yeah. That is so eh, nice. Eh, different topic. Uh -huh. For different, different topics. Topic uh -huh. for, for, yeah, for adaptation in the different country. How to adapt to a new country. Say, how to adapt uh, to that... a new Adapt, yes. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Byron, for being here. Welcome to all the rest. Miss Marbelli, Daisy, Saul, Damaris, Carlitos, Nati, Emma. Good evening, teacher. Hello, welcome. Even Mr. Jason that is visiting us today. Welcome, Jason. <laughs> I welcome everybody today. Sandrita, how are you? Well, so I was telling everybody, hey, Saul, I like your hairstyle. Okay, teacher, thank you. <laughs> it looks different. <laughs> yeah. That is nice. I mean, it's Friday. That's the Friday. Yeah. Look. <laughs> the body knows. And the body knows that we are going to stay at home because we are very well behaved. And yeah. we're going to study. <laughs> okay, so eh, I got my attendance list. Yes. Ready, and I am going to leave it open because I am going to use it in a couple of minutes. Well, welcome, welcome everybody. Most of you are here and that's fantastic that all of you can connect on time. So 
I have prepared a couple of exercises for today. We are going to work a little bit and I am going to share my screen with all of you so we can start with the practice, okay? And here I go, okay. And for sure, this is our uh, English lesson of the night. Welcome everybody. We are going to start the class with one question. And it says, holidays are a waste of time. What Do you know what's the meaning of holiday? Semana Santa. No, holidays. Ma a vacation. Yeah, festivo. Días festivos, exactly like that. That is okay. días festivos. Holidays are a waste of time, they say. What is the meaning of that? Holidays are a waste of time. What is a waste of time? Pérdida de tiempo. Aha, uh -huh. you are going to see what. Because a holiday is something which turns somebody who is tired into somebody who is exhausted. Do you get the whole idea of the sentence? Holidays are a waste of time because a holiday is something which turns somebody who is tired into somebody who is exhausted. Do you get the whole idea? ¿Comprendemos la idea total de esto? If you understand the complete idea, raise your hand and explain it to me. Who can explain me the question, the, the sentence? Holidays are a waste of time because a holiday is something which turns somebody who is tired into somebody who is exhausted. Who gets the whole sentence? But how can a holiday turn somebody who is tired into somebody who is exhausted? <laughs> okay, that's the discussion that I want to have. It turns somebody who is tired. When do you get vacations? What is the purpose of a holiday? ¿Cuál es la, la, la finalidad de una vacación? What is the purpose of that? To rest. To rest, exactly like that. The purpose of a holiday is to rest. And what is the last thing that you do in a holiday? What is the last thing that you do? ¿Qué es lo último que hacemos en una vacación? Taking a rest. A rest. <laughs> Taking a rest, exactly like that. So the holiday is supposed to be for you to rest, but on the holiday, you to never rest. Home. To be at home, to be no, doing nothing, to be relaxed and everything. And what do you do in a holiday? Let's go to visit someone. Let's get together. Let's have a family party. Let's cook something. <laughs> In Christmas, for example, right? Christmas is a holiday. And you are supposed to rest on Christmas, right? You have a nice night and everything. But what do you do? The turkey, the salad, the housing, the cleaning. That is the estreno, everything. So at the end of Christmas, what happens? Almost everybody gets drunk. <laughs> Almost everybody's drunk and tired, right? And when, when the holiday is over, you say, I am very tired. I never, I didn't rest in the holiday. I need a holiday for the holiday. That's what you do. So that's how the holidays turn somebody who is tired into somebody who is exhausted. You enter to the holiday to rest, and then you don't rest. What do you normally do in a holiday? What do you normally do in a holiday? Imagine in, in, in Hollywood. Yeah, have... uh, in my case, in my case uh, it's normally that I pass uh, a lot of time with my family. We spend uh, all the vacation at home. In some case, uh, we are going to the river, something like that. 
Okay. In some cases, you say, in some cases, we go to the river. In some cases, we go to the river. Good. Okay, that is Saul. Other example, teacher, uh, maybe go to the beach. <laughs> when you go to the beach, the, uh, the, going to the beach is one of these examples. Okay. ¿A qué vamos a la playa? A descansar, right? But what, what happens one day before going to the beach? Very tired. <laughs> you are very tired, right? Then you prepare everything and the bags and everything. And you have this big bag like for seven days. And at the beach, you don't change the clothes. Lleva ropa como para 15 días y con la misma calzoneta andando cinco días de la playa. So it is, it is really, it, it is exhausting to get ready with food and everything. It's like, mom, why are you taking this, right? Mamá, ¿y el tambo para qué lo lleva? We never know. <laughs> you are taking everything to the beach. So going to the beach, Mauricio. Yeah, that's another example of an activity that we do uh, in Holy Week. What about, uh, let's see, Byron, what do you do in Holy Week? In my case, um, in some cases, I'm going to the beach or the river. I relax in my house and I make a, a lunch. You make, the, uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I with make whom? a lunch. Uh huh. Yes. With whom? With my family. Oh, with your family. Okay. You prepare yeah. lunch. In that case, you don't say, I have lunch with my family or I we. Have lunch. I have lunch with my family. I have lunch with my family, okay. Or we can say, we cook lunch together. We cook, we cook lunch together. Eso sí lo preparan junto, pero si ya lo compran hecho, we have lunch with our family. <laughs> <laughs> so depending, right? Yeah. Very good. And you say like, I am going to the beach or to the river. If you talk about a situation that happens, I mean, that it's a general situation that happens during certain time, you say, I go to the beach, I go to the river, because es como una tradición, es algo que hacen normalmente. So it's a general fact. Good, thank you, Byron, thank you. Teacher. Please. Yes? Teacher, other example is uh, visit the, the other cities or the other countries. I visit other cities or other countries. Good, very good. Cristina Abigail, what do you normally do on Holy Week? Holy Week. Um, well, I help my mom cooking to because, cook. yes, because she likes to make tortas de pesca. <laughs> cover fish. Cover, cover fish. Cover fish. Okay. Do you like cover fish, people? Yes, teacher. Yes. I like. Yes, I like. <laughs> I know. I don't like. I don't like. I don't like it. No. I am the one with the pollo guisado on, on Holy Friday, right? But everybody is with chicken. I don't. I Everybody is eating fish, but I don't like it. It's like, I know. <laughs> it's something that I don't like. I like torrejas, mom beans, mangoes, everything else, but not. The cover fish. I don't like Let's see. I am going to ask Nati. Nati, what do you do for Holy Week? It depends. Uh huh. It depends. Uh, if I'm with my dad, maybe one or two days we go like a restaurant to to get dinner or lunch. But if I'm the whole week with my mom. We stay the whole week at home and just do that. So if I'm with my mom, most of the time, the only thing that I do is watch TV or sleep all day. <laughs> you never know even what time what time or what day is it. It's like, it's Tuesday. Yeah, oh, okay. my, mom, my, mom, my mom doesn't doesn't like to go out that much. So. Okay. And if we go out, we go to my grandma's house. So uh -huh. it's almost the same. <laughs> you cooking one house and then you cooking another one. So 
No, oh, because at my grandma's house, I don't cook. Oh, okay. So it, it is like, there is no option there, right? So you go on a cruise. Do you know what's the meaning to go on a cruise? To go on a cruise. What is the meaning of that? The way of the Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> to go on a cruise. You go on a cruise and you go on, on a boat and you go on the beach, right? There you go. I think I have this one. Right? You can go in a big thing. You go on a cruise. That's a cruise, right? It's a big, huge thing. En un crucero. Crucero. Yeah, but when you are at home, you are in a cruise from the kitchen to the living room, from the living room to the bathroom, to the bathroom to the garden. <laughs> you are crossing <laughs> on vacation, right? <laughs> you are on a cruise, right? He said, Ahora Natalie puede decir, en vacación me fui a un crucero. Cruzaba de la sala, la cocina, de la bueno, cocina, el patio. <laughs> so, you were crossing. Oh, Nati, I'm going I, to say that the next yeah? time I'm on vacation. I'm on vacation on a cruise, no. you say. I will I go mean, on a cruise, you say. I do that. And the people way say, of the cross. Uh, the way of the cross the is cross. all the, all the via cruises, right? Do you do that? Do you, do you participate on that? Yes. In my okay. case, yes. Okay, me too. Oscar, do you participate uh, on the on the yes, I participate, yes. Me too. I, I, I love But to in my case is when I go to the my grandmother. Oh, okay. So you see traditions, right? We have a specific traditions. Yeah. And at the end of the holiday, we are very exhausted <laughs> because the holidays are very similar and we do that normally, right? We get tired. So we are going to share. We're going to share a little bit of uh, these questions. In the first part, we have the first question and we are going to read and discuss, okay? So I am going to read the question and we are going to go to the groups to discuss. And then I'm going to bring you back. We read the next one, we discuss, and we're going to be doing that activity, okay? So we are going to, to, to do the, okay, let's do two. So I don't have issues with your internet. Vamos a ir de dos en dos. Vamos a hacer las dos primeras preguntas. Um, Elmer, can you help me to read the first question? Do you think you get enough days of each year? How, mo how many weeks? Uh, holiday okay. do you get? What, what will be the ideal amount? Okay, do you think you get enough days off each year? Days off is like dias libres, right? Do you think that you get enough days off each year? How many week holidays do you get? In El Salvador, I think we have three week holidays, right? Uh, Holy Week, August, and Christmas. We have three. What will be the ideal amount? ¿Cuál sería el monto de días ideal para usted de vacaciones? Imagine if they say at your job, ¿cuántos días de vacaciones quieren? Maybe 20, 50, 50. <laughs> what will be the 300, idea? 364, so I can work one day. So <laughs> that will be the ideal amount. Yes. No, you have, you have. 355. 355, uh -huh. okay. 351. 351. Yeah, to be honest, right? In work a couple of days, right? If you no, if you learn. I, yeah. I I prefer maybe to work four days and rest three days on a week. Uh-huh. That's very nice. Hey, that's a very mm -hmm. good idea. So it's, yes. That's a that's a pretty good option to have to work four days and to rest three. That would be perfect. Do you take any work or studying with you on holidays? Why or why not? ¿Te llevas eh, carga del trabajo de estudio cuando estás en vacaciones? Yes or no? And why? Okay, we are going to work on these two questions. Vamos a trabajar en esas dos preguntas en el grupo. So on the group, you are going to discuss. Do you think you get enough days off each year? 
how many weeks of holiday do you get or what will be the ideal amount? And the second one, do you work or study on holidays? Why or why not, okay? So let's discuss in the groups. I'm going to send you to work right now and I will bring you back in a moment for us to continue with the next questions, okay? Let's go and work. The first two questions. Accept my invitation to go to the groups, my dear students. Okay, accept my invitation right now. There you go. The first two questions, I will send them to you on the chat. Thank you. Okay, let me share the question with students and I am going to go and check how they are doing on the groups. Let's see. Okay. Hello. Hello, hello. I send hello, hello, teacher. I send you the image on the chat for you to uh, to start the discussion. We're going to work on the first two questions. Eh, Tienen la imagen en WhatsApp para que podamos practicar las, las preguntas. Okay. Eh, Sandra. Do you take any word a student where you holiday? Sandrita? Yes, you can repeat the question. <laughs> Please. Do you, do you okay. take work or, or study with you on a holiday? Si te llevas algo de trabajo cuando te vas de vacaciones. No, not really. And why? Because I don't like. <laughs> I prefer uh, make the the homework in, at home it's enough <laughs> it is not it is for me it's not enough uh, i for this case i i i said before that we have to 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 work four day and rest three days in a week but but uh, and how many weeks holiday do you get? Uh -huh. how much, how many days, uh, how many uh, weeks holiday do you get? ¿Cuánto le dan de vacaciones a ustedes? Let's see. In my case, I get Three months, three weeks <laughs> on years. Three weeks every year. Okay, I said three yeah. months. Donde firmo no. ese <laughs> contrato. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, it, this yeah. is my ideal. <laughs> that, that's my ideal. That's my ideal. <laughs> yes, I know in other countries take a day get get uh, two months or one month yes they get a lot of vacation so i envy that part 
<laughs> Good. Let's continue working. Case, uh -huh. I get like eight to ten weeks off. Really? Year, I don't know. I'm not sure because I don't work and that's the weeks they keep me off at university. Uh, yeah, you, you finish, I think, in November, right? No, I finish in December. In first, December, but then the you get... Week of December. But then you get January, February off. So almost two months. I love no, that part. I start again like the middle of January. Oh, really? So oh, my yes, God. Yes, but they give me like from the second half of June and the first half of it's July. true, right? The midterm. It's true. Okay, great. Okay. Let's continue practicing. Aha, uh -huh. did you finish discussing? No, yet. We are trying to answer the. We are taking notes. That's answer. very good. That's very yes. good. Okay, continue. Continue. I will come back in a second. Yeah, well. Uh, me too one month <laughs> yes because uh, me too one month <laughs> yes because that the, the war is hard oh, yeah. 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 in my case <laughs> I I travel every day that Chalchuapa to to no for from San Chalchuapa. Salvador. From Chalchuapa to San Salvador every day. Yes, teacher. Oh my God. <laughs> That's a long travel. Oh my God. So it's almost two hours now. Yes, uh uh it's approx approximately what did you a say? Approximately. Approximately it's five hours. On traffic, yeah. In traffic. I know, I know. I work for I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I was I well I worked for 10 years in, in San Juan Opico. And I was traveling from San Salvador to San Juan Opico for 10 years. No, I, I it was so hard. The traffic in the morning was terrible and the traffic in the afternoon was worst. So I, I understand Elmer. My All God. day is traffic that the the beauty of Pico. <laughs> yeah, that's really horrible. Well, let's continue. I'm going to go and check the next group. Okay. Continue practicing, my dear students. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Hello, hello. 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 Welcome back. Okay, welcome back. It was nice to listen to many of you talking and discussing about the different questions. What was the ideal amount of days for you in a holiday? What was the ideal amount? What did you share? Two months. Two months. <laughs> <laughs> I love that that answer. Approve. <laughs> what is the, the idea? Let's see. Two months, says Christina. What about the rest? Who I gives agree more? with her. <laughs> yeah. I agree with her. At least two months between each semester. Uh, yeah, two months between semesters will be perfect, right? Mm -hmm. 
because in my case, students finish the academy on December 23, and then on January, they are back. I would like to have like a month free. That would be fantastic. And then another month in the middle of the year, that would be perfect. Yeah, two months. Tell me, do you take work or study with you when you are on a holiday? Uh, I, I, I guess that depends on your bus. <laughs> and, uh, I, I had uh, some bus before. Uh, bus, bus before. The buses, uh, buses. Uh, yes, este, the, the, you, we, I, I, I have to, to prepare for some information and, and, and you have to, 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 to be uh, ready for, 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 for get some information. Exactly, right. Mm -hmm. You need to you need to be connected all the time to answer any questions, right? Yes. So but, it happens. But right now, not. <laughs> <laughs> thank God. <laughs> right, thank yes, God yes, that, yes. that you don't have COVID. Yeah. yeah, yes. You know something? I have one thing that I never give homework on vacation. I never give homework to my students on vacation. And my students love it because when when uh, when they the teachers say like, well, the principal says that we are not giving homework on vacation. They are like, yay! <laughs> because vacation is for you to enjoy, not to be stressed. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. I am agree. I am agree. <laughs> I I agree. You say I agree. Teacher, is that question my boy? <laughs> Why work in vacation? <laughs> you know, I remember that when I was in sixth grade, my teacher gave me like 100 biographies for Holy Week. I was in Cuatepeca Lake with my family. They were enjoying and I was doing the biographies by hand. La biografía era dibujo a mano y la biografía escrita a mano. And I remember that all my family was in Cuatepeque, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was doing the biographies, 100 biographies. And I said, in the future, I will never give homework to anybody. <laughs> and it became a reality because I became a teacher. And then I have the chance not to give homework to my students. Well, so do you take work with you? Let's see, Mr. Nelson, do you take work with you on vacation? Or you don't do anything. Good evening. Hi. Uh, sometimes, sometimes um, we have other projects. Okay. What we want to do, but we need to rest too. Yeah, that's important. Um, but in this moment, uh, rest at home. <laughs> okay so yes. you are you are resting at home so there is no there is no nothing to worry about on vacation. Let's see. And this is for anybody who wants to answer. Cualquiera que la quiera responder. Do you go to bed early and get lots of rest during the holidays or do you stay up late and let your hair down? How restful are your days? What is the meaning to let your hair down when you are a when you stay up all the night, like 11, 12, 1 in the morning, and the next day you wake up anytime that you want. When you let your hair down, it's like, hasta que el sol me levante, you say. <laughs> hasta que haga calor y me tenga que levantar. <laughs> if you don't have children, you can do it. If you have children, you cannot do it. Sorry. So, do you go to bed early or do you stay up late on holidays? In my case, I stay up late and let my hair down. <laughs> Until the next day. And if you are with your mother, woo, <laughs> you, you stay up until the next afternoon. What do you do? Mm -hmm. Until the next week. <laughs> the next week. Uh-huh. What what the rest of you does? I stay up. Uh-huh. Okay. 
No, no, ladies first. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, in my case, teacher, I like uh, to sleep, but I have children. Uh, <laughs> so at eight, mom, I'm I, hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> Come back, <up>, please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so like, yes, it's the niño. Ah, so it's mine. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, it's mío. <laughs> Like you cannot do that, right? You need you need to give them food, right? Strategies teach them how to make pancakes. Uh, in my case, <laughs> okay, no, 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 go, go, go. In my case, I stay up late on, on for example, Friday or, or Sunday, and we we watch movie with my with my wife. But no, no, too late. For example, eleven or or midnight. That's because good. because my children the next day around seven or eight we are wake up and I I am hungry. <laughs> uh, uh, where where we go? <laughs> yeah, I'm very hungry. What are we going to <laughs> yes, eat? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, uh, here you have two dollars, go for some pupusas. <laughs> Elmer, Elmer se ríe, me dice, yo lo haría. Perfect. So, okay. <laughs> I, I like to, I like to stay up uh, late, but it's true, right? Seven in the morning, I have my alarm telling me that he's hungry. In my case, I go to bed at 11 o'clock at night. 11 o'clock because, uh -huh. because i am watching a movie and i get up early at 10 a.m that's so fantastic <laughs> right i don't remember the last time i woke up at 10. <laughs> okay so that is that it's something uh, beautiful that you can still do enjoy it right tell me are holidays too expensive do you think that it's right that prices are high high in a peak season peak season is like temporada alta do you think holidays are more expensive than normal days in the hotel yes <laughs> yeah. in the hotels in the hotels or, or in other places in the restaurants, uh, right? Yes, yes, yes. Everything more, is more expensive. More expensive, yes. Any other, uh, any other participation? Do you consider that holidays are more expensive? Well, if you stay at home, there is no problem. The problem is that when you are at home, it's like, ay, no, pidamos algo. <laughs> And then you spend money. And it's like, ay, vamos con sorbete. And then you go and spend money. It's like, ah, mira las minutas. <laughs> and then you go out and spend money. So everything is expensive on a holiday. I like this question. Question number five. What can ruin a holiday? What can ruin a holiday? ¿Qué puede arruinar un festivo? What can ruin a holiday? A traffic accident. A traffic accident, yes. In Christmas, los be, terrenos, right? Be sick, be sick. When you get sick, oh, that's terrible, right? When you get sick in a holiday. What else can ruin a holiday? That broke the car, teacher? When when the car is broken, right? Because you cannot do anything. The holidays are ruined. Teacher, how do you say quemado? Burn out ah, with the fireworks. Bur when the when the burnout with the explosive. Okay. To burn yourself with fireworks. Burn, fireworks. burn, burn. yourself yourself with fireworks with fireworks yes that can ruin that can totally ruin a holiday right 
Another another is that you children get sick. Get, get when sick. The, when the children get sick, right? That ruins yes. everything in a home. Yes, yes. It's or, so expensive. It's so expensive too. Definitely. <laughs> very, very definitely. Expensive. So it is very, it is very, very expensive. And also when um when some people fight on a celebration, right? A discussion, a family discussion can ruin everything on a holiday. So like, yeah, mira el cumpleaños, que lindo estuve, y las tías peleamos. So it, that can ruin a holiday. So those were some of the questions that I had ready for you. We're going to go on the next activity. You are going to work with the same group. You are going to work with the same group, but you are going to describe the picture. What do you think it's happening here? What is happening on this picture? Imagine that you are on another table and you are observing the situation. So what, what is your perception of this picture? What do you think is happening? That's what you are going to discuss with your group. You can screenshot the picture, okay? Pueden sacar la captura a la foto, don't worry. Let me just close this one. Okay, screenshot the picture. That's the first one. What do you think it's happening here? You are going to tell me the story behind the picture. Okay, let's go with your group, discuss, and tell me later. Okay, you will have five minutes for discussion and then you report. Tenemos cinco minutos de discusión y venimos a reporte. Okay, ¿qué está pasando en esa foto? What do you think it's happening? What is your perspective of this mm -hmm. picture? Okay, go and discuss right now. Okay, thank you, accept my invitations. Eh, Nati, ¿te llegó la invitación para el grupo? Manuel, ¿te llegó la invitación? Thank you. Nati, ¿tenés la invitación al grupo? Hello. Nati, ¿te llegó la invitación? Hello. 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 Hello, Hello teacher. Uh -huh. What is going on in the picture? Maybe they taking a lunch, but the girl and uh, slide about about it the food, maybe. Okay. What is another perspective maybe, that you have? Maybe they are eating as family. Mm -hmm. They are eating as a family. What else yeah. is happening? Look at their faces. What is going on? Are all of them happy? No. So? What do you think the girl is thinking? Because the other one is very happy looking at the men. What is going on? Okay, I need you to create more ideas, people. I will come back in a second. Okay, tratemos de sacar más ideas. So, ya tienen varias, pero podemos sacar muchas más. Go ahead. Maybe she's jealous because her husband is giving food <laughs> or to another. That's a good, that's that's a very good description, right? <laughs> because his husband, her husband is giving food to another woman. He's like, oh, I'm going to go. <laughs> all right, good. Maybe that's a very good perception, right? 
you can describe, right? They are in a restaurant, there are flowers, things, right? You can describe also the things that you can see on the picture. So get information, try to describe it as well, practice. They are, they are eating uh, for dinner. Are they eating dinner? But I see that. Maybe. I, I see Maybe. that it's very clear. It's a bread, but it's not a breakfast because not, uh -huh. the because the the we have some glass with with liquor. <laughs> I guess that is not for breakfast. But, <laughs> but and I they are know. they are eating pasta, right? But yes, yes, maybe is 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 dinner or, or maybe lunch. But I we have discussed uh, about it is on on the dinner. But uh -huh. no, but it's okay. It's it's your perspective. What do you think of the picture? That's your perspective. And are all of them happy on the picture? No, <laughs> the lady, the lady with the red. Red hair is so uh, strange or angry okay. because the because the the man with the hair is getting uh, some food to the to to the lady with the glasses. Okay, so the red hair lady. You say the red hair lady ah, when okay. you are red when you are describing. You say the red hair lady, the curly lady, hair red. lady, right? The bald the men. The bold man, right? <laughs> and the other one, I mean, this one that it's here at the end, the boy with glasses, he's just, he's it's, eating. It's, it's just eating. It's just eating. It, it's, he's just enjoying, but she looks jealous. Good. Give me a couple of minutes. I'm going to check the last room. You can okay. get more details. Okay. Get more details. Okay. He's angry. So, so. She's angry. For sure she's angry. Look at that face. <laughs> yes, very angry. Pretty angry. She's pretty angry. <laughs> yes. And the boy is very happy. And her his father congratulated him. So she's pretty angry. Okay, let's see. We are going to go to the next one. Okay, I will go to the next room. Continue discussing, okay? okay. Uh, how do you say puede ser? Puede ser. How do you say in English? It can be. It can be. I, but I'm sorry, no escuché. It can be. It can be the the different different situation in the in the photo. For 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 she. For her. <laughs> for her, yeah, is is neg negative or positive the action. Yes. Yeah, she looks very. Or angry. maybe the blonde lady. Yes, she's the blunt lady. What happens with the blunt lady? Maybe she's angry because they are they are running out of food. <laughs> yeah. It's like I want it. <laughs> they are going to eat everything. <laughs> Good, very good. Okay, I am going to take everyone back and we're going to discuss, okay? Okay, welcome back, everybody. Welcome. Uh, I really like the way you see things and how different people see different things. 
and how you interpret different expressions on people. What was the most common aspect about this lady right here? She's angry. That she's angry. Another thing, she's angry. Or seriously. She's serious. What, what is another descriptor that we can have? She's angry, she's serious. Mm. Yeah. Mm, idea. How do you stand? Duda. Doubting. She's doubt. Doubting. No, in that case, she's doubtful. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah. Another doubtful. description. She. She is seeing. Uh -huh. Respect. <laughs> she's been. Uh, well. She's she's being despective, right? Like she's looking over her shoulder. When you look over your shoulder, you are like to other people. So you you they they are less than you are. So you are looking over your shoulder. That's the expression to look over your shoulder. Cuando ves a alguien de menos, you are like mm, humano. So. That is to look over your shoulder. Do you think that she's jealous? Yes, it can be. <laughs> it can be. Because so, maybe the man in black is her husband. <laughs> uh -huh. This is the husband, right? And for sure, the husband is being nice with another lady. Chen, chen, chen. Y a mí no me vas a servir. Ah, ahí sí. <laughs> She's jealous. She's <laughs> jealous. Okay, good. I am going to show you another picture and I'm going to call the attempt. Okay. Le voy a mostrar otra foto y voy a pasar lista. And you can start writing some ideas about the picture. Okay. I am going to show you this one. Okay. Create your ideas. Write it down, escriban sus ideas, and I will call the attendance. Okay? Write down your ideas. And when I come back, you will have to report, okay? Escriban sus ideas. What is happening on that picture? What is going on there? So you can have them ready. Ana Julia? Present. Byron? Present. Carlos Fernando? Cristina, Present. thank you. Cristina Abigail? Present. Damaris Merari? Present. Daisy Magdalena? Present. Elizabeth del Carmen? Here I am. Elmer Mauricio? Present, teacher. Elvia Sofía? Present. Emma Jamilet? Emma? Giselle Cecilia? Let's see who is in the chat. They are in a work meeting. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, Iris Rosario? Present, Thank you. Manuel Alejandro? Present. Okay. Marbelli Jocelyn? Present teacher. Marlon Ernesto. Marlon Sitton. Hello, Marlon. Hello. Let's see. Let's continue here. Natalie Geraldine. Here. Nelson Rolando. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Oscar Eduardo. Present, teacher. Pablo Reyes. Pablito. Pablito. Hoy no vino Pablito. <clears throat> Let's see. And Patricia Verónica. 
Sandra Yanet. I'm here. René David. Eh, Sara María. En Saúl Arnold. Saúl. Hey, Saúl was here. Ah, here, here he is. Hello, Saúl. Se me ha perdido. Se fue a ver. Okay, Saúl is right here. Good. So, thank you very much for uh, your answers. I'm sorry, I'm here. I have some problem with my internet. <laughs> Don't worry, Saúl. I got okay, your sorry. I got your attendance. Don't worry. So, what is happening on the picture? What is going on? They are divorcing. <laughs> okay. They are divorcing. <laughs> it might be. Yes. They are in the middle of a divorce. Mm, they have a problem, teacher. They are having problems, right? Or they have a problem. They have a problem. They must be analyzing to resolve, right? Natalie. I think they are at a meeting with their boss and their boss is calling them off. <laughs> some call, it's calling I them think, I think how 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 I think, I think that's the way to say it Pregnar, call them out. calling them out yes or you can say like they are he's like like calling their attention or he's lecturing them right okay, or, thank you or they are discussing you say they are discussing that is the most common one that we use with with uh, job related activities right they are discussing something but he is very angry. What else do you think it's happening? ¿Qué otra idea tienen? ¿Qué está pasando en esta foto? Uh, for me, teacher, uh, she is as it can not be again. She is calling me that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It's calling. That's another word, right? To be called. It's like, oh my God. Like, uh, they, are, they are calling again the same issue, right? Scolding, very good answer. Any other idea before we move to the last picture? They are making work plans. <laughs> they are making work plans. Yes, but he is a little bit angry. But we never know, right? Maybe he's explaining a nice invention, right? And we are going to do it and it's going to be fantastic. We never know. Maybe he's very expressive. The last picture that I am going to show you. What happened there? Mm -hmm. Maybe receive a bill. Uh, a, bill a bill so expensive. For the water. <laughs> that, was, that was my face. That was my face when I got the $100 bill for water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do i have a swimming pool or what i said yeah <laughs> so he got a very expensive bill ticket uh-huh mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. else what else do you think it happened people ¿Qué más pasó ahí? Cuénteme. the father is teaching his children <laughs> <Don't mind. laughs> teaching uh the the multiplication uh, actions, right? <laughs> like seven per eight, seven times eight. I remember that. ¿Se acuerdan cómo se aprendieron las tablas ustedes? <laughs> so, he's teaching that. What else? Maybe, he's, maybe he's, he just realized the amount that is charged in his credit card. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. The amount of money that is charged on his credit card. Maybe he's watching soccer. He's watching a soccer game. And his favorite team is winning. Some students said that they got he got screenshots. And he's just realizing about it. So different perspectives, different things. And today I wanted to show you that you can get 
every, I mean, every single type of thing that you find, you can use your English to work on that. Ya sea que vean un libro, ven una foto, ven un párrafo, lo que sea. You can use that to practice your English. If you get the newspaper, agarra en el diario y dice, ah, aquí ha de estar pasando esto y esto. And you can describe the different pictures in the newspaper in English. So it can be very helpful. Well, my dear students, it was a pleasure to work with you today. I hope to see you in the next module. And for sure, I, please, I insist, keep practicing, okay? Make some time to practice, 10, five minutes every day. It is going to help you a lot, okay? So it was a huge pleasure to serve you and I will be here. Whatever you need, send me a message and I will be more than glad to help you, okay? Okay, thank, teacher. Thank, thank you very much. much. Thank, thank you, thank you, teacher, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. See you. See you. Bye. See you in the next month. Bye. It's a pleasure. Bye. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. Thanks. Bye. Bye. It was a pleasure. Bye. Bye. Bye, my dear class. Bye. Bye. Thanks for every. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye.